Welcome to the 2019 Adjunct Convocation. We're excited to provide this virtually for you this year. My name is Ara Sunbaum and I'm the Instructional Technologist and I'm going to go over a few important things that you need to know before starting class. If you teach on the Rocky Mount campus, you will need to pick up a parking permit in the security office in the Hardy Building. You can do this between the hours of 9 and 5. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to give the security office a call. Additionally, at any point, you should be able to call security at any time. Go ahead and take the opportunity to plug these phone numbers into your cell phone for easy reference should you need it while teaching class. Next, I'd like to go over some requirements that the college asks of instructors about use of the learning management system. When teaching at Wesleyan, you need to record attendance and grades in the learning management system, commonly called My NCWC. In your class, you can access attendance with the attendance tab in the menu on the left. You can also access the grade book from the menu. For more details, please watch the training videos that are in the bookmark section of your convocation course. Online instructors need to create a discussion forum in collaboration and tie that to the coursework with an assignment and use that specific assignment to verify attendance in online courses. An easy way for traditional instructors to take attendance is for them to open up my NCWC and take it during class. The Adult and Professional Studies term begins on Monday, August 26. Your course should be set up by Monday, August 19th. For part-time faculty, you should email your syllabus to your program coordinator to review. If you don't know who that is, please feel free to email me or Katie Farrell and we'll let you know who the program coordinator is for your specific discipline. Traditional classes begin on Wednesday, August 28th. Online instructors should have a welcome announcement for students and also respond to students within 24 hours, whether the student posts on the message board in collaboration or send you an email. Online instructors should include course assignments and grading weights that match the information in your syllabus in the gradebook in the learning management system. Please make sure that you post weekly announcements or emails to make sure that students know that their teacher is engaged in the online class. You could send emails about course content, grades being posted, due dates, or anything else that is pertinent to your course. You should also grade student work and give feedback within seven days of submission of the assignment. The library has created many resources for you to use when teaching your students. There are some links that we will also provide in the bookmark section of this convocation course that you should also provide to your students in your course shell. You should have received an email if you're teaching online this fall from Katie Farrell about online term reminders. In that email is a course checklist for you to check to make sure that your course is set up with limited barriers to students. Go through and make sure that you've checked all of these items to make sure that your course is ready to go. Additionally, you can go to ncwc.edu slash TLC to find the Teaching and Learning Center webpage. In that webpage is a beginning of semester checklist that you can use to set up your course. Each tab in the webpage can be expanded 
to view details about that particular requirement. Videos are embedded in the web page that tell you how to do certain things in your course. Finally, your course will be audited to make sure that we're meeting certain expectations that are for the benefit of the students. Don't be alarmed by this. It's a checks and balances system and you'll receive feedback that will help you in the future to make sure that we are following specifications. Many of these specifications are required by governmental agencies or accrediting bodies such as SACS. Finally, let's talk about the syllabus. You should include your syllabus in your online course for students to be able to access. I like to provide a downloadable copy as well as the text copy that's copied and pasted into your course. If you'd like to view the video again, you can find that in the Quick Start Guide. You should make sure that you have course information, instructor contact information, and you must use your North Carolina Wesleyan College email address. You should also include the course description, overview of requirements, prerequisite information, your learning outcomes, the textbook information, which also should include the addition of the textbook, and ISBN numbers are also very helpful. You must include attendance statement, a disability statement, an academic honesty statement, your grading scale and breakdown, the overview of your course assignments, and the schedule for the week. If you need any of this information to copy and paste into your syllabus, you can go into My NCWC, click on the Faculty and Staff tab, and scroll down to Sample Course Syllabus. You can download this syllabus and copy and paste the information out of it to use in your own syllabus. Please make sure that your ADA statement is correct and matches the sample course syllabus. If you're having technical difficulties in your class or in my NCWC, you can always email me, Eris Sunbaum, or contact the help desk. The information to contact the help desk is on the home page of my NCWC. The help desk will help you with things like resetting passwords or access issues. If you need to know how to do something in my NCWC, please contact me, the instructional technologist. North Carolina Wesleyan College offers Smart Thinking, which is an online tutoring system that your students can use. If you have any questions about Smart Thinking, please feel free to contact me. Smart Thinking can be accessed in My NCWC by students by clicking on the Student tab and then going to the left-hand menu and clicking on Smart Thinking. They can log in from here and get help with their classes. We also have tutoring available in our library. I'd like to thank you for teaching at North Carolina Wesleyan College. I'm looking forward to the semester and I hope that I can meet you all at some point during the semester. If you have any questions at all about instructional technology, I'm happy to help. My office is in the Pearsall Classroom Building in the Teaching and Learning Center on the first floor. Thanks and have a wonderful semester.